Hello and welcome to this, the Zero AD Champions Cup, Game 4 of Feldfeld vs Borg. This is a Ptolemies vs Ptolemies matchup and we have Feldfeld in the blue and was it? Alt 2, Borg in the red. I know the buttons, I'm getting there. Alrighty, six ladies, and six ladies. I know it says women, I like, I don't like saying women, <laughs> I think ladies is more formal. This is a very serious, formal, historical, accurate simulation, so I'm going to say ladies. We've got a Therophoros Acrobalistes. Therophoros Acrobalistes. There's six of them coming out, skirmishes. Course. I understand. I'm, I'm understanding now. <laughs> Don't worry. So the thing is, field field here. Pop the farmstead out and got wicker baskets straight away, like he always does. And um, Borg has not even not even built one. Just not even bothered. The berries were pretty close to him, so it's not really much need in it. Four ladies and two, Mr. Big Gamal, number two. Gamal, like camel. Felagok Kimos. 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 The mud brick houses, which are free. Just go nuts with them. I'll put on follow player. We'll see how that's working out. Also because it, uh, it's the only way I know of moving the camera smoothly is if it's attached to a unit. And I don't know how to attach it to a unit manually, only in the follow player mode. You don't need to know this, you want to know about the game, <laughs> not... Ah, oh dear. Well, Feldfeld is ahead in population. Thanks to that early food. Sacrificing that 100 wood in order to do it. The unit composition... Is as such. It's a six six two fourteen and a seven eight two fourteen. But Feldfeld just popped out a whole bunch of something. Camels. And ladies. What was it? Yeah, and ladies. First raid going down. Gamels versus gamels. Or gam what are they? Gamels? Gamels. Camels. Oh dear. It sounds like somebody is trying to say camel when they've got something in their mouth. Borg likes to use his uh, buildings as a indicator. A timing indicator. As, and what I mean by that is he doesn't just put them all over. He, he uses them to 
to gauge where he is in his build order kind of thing. Whereas Feldfeld is just just chucks and bunch down and says, I don't want to use do any house building micro for the rest of this game. Which is a good strategy really. I mean, why not? Can people walk over so these are free. Can people can the enemy walk over them even when they're not built? Could you just spam them on the ground and make them an inf make an infinite wall? Surely not. Surely there's something preventing that from happening exactly as I described. It would happen somewhat different to how I described. Feldfeld attempting to raid down south, but Borg coming in the north. Coming in northwards. Northwardsly. Pikeman coming out. Straight onto the gold. If there was a gold... If there was a rock that looked like that, it would be worth so much money. <laughs> like, that's an obscene amount of gold. There's a nugget there the size of my head. It was not long ago in, um, I think I, Western Australia somewhere, uh, one of the world's biggest gold nuggets, like chunks, was found. And it was nowhere near that big. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I know you're supposed to... Okay, I'll talk about the game. Um, some units can't go back to work because of a reason. Uh, what's that mean? The thing that they were working on before they were ungarrisoned had become destroyed. Something like that. I'm still not entirely talking. I'm talking about the game and not the meta game. You want to know about the meta game? What's Borg doing? What's Feld doing? What's the what's the stuff? That raid uh, seemed to help him in population, or at least helped him diminish the enemy's population. <laughs> and the dock coming down. I'm not going to say that word. Um. Four farms, and how many spell got? Three. One in front and two behind. Yeah, and you see, um... Bog never gets this, ever. He uses that other hundred... Well, you know, a hundred wood is half of a dock. So, you know... A hundred... You, can put a wood all over the place. You make a couple of these gamels, gamels. You can do all sorts of things. <laughs> she didn't like that at all. Oh wait, okay, I gotta come out a bit here. So Borg doesn't even see the positioning that uh, that Feldfeld's doing here. Because here's the only way back, so, and he's remaining in between the camels and the way to get back. He has to go through them. And here again. He knows where he's going and he is there first and ready to be able to fire off even more shots than if he hadn't have got that good positioning off. Feldfeld's positioning work is on point. You see, as we continue this engagement here, these are completely out of Bog's vision. He sees maybe one or two of them and He's not getting to them in any kind of hurry. Back around here, not just straight. Like using the terrain to his advantage to give it, have them create more distance between him and his opponent, and their pikemen, but still be within range, you know. 
It, that's that. I don't know if he put them there on purpose, but that's an excellent spot to have your camel archers in that specific engagement. Managing to still be well behind in population, even through some great positioning work. Just losing a lot of units to a lot of things. Borg was willing to put his entire army into the fight. I mean, look at this. It's been happening all over. There's still a horse over here that hasn't even faded away from the last fight, and there's already another fight happening over here. Yeah, see? Four more archers coming, camel archers coming out. Pardon me while I readjust myself in the chair. I hope that doesn't, that sound doesn't come through. It's distracting. <laughs> Micromanagement on the skirmishes. sorts of little arrangements happening. Whole bunch of right click go clicking going on. That one turned out quite well for Feldfeld. What would be interesting if there was a a uh, there was a game called Praetorians where if you were in the trees they couldn't hit you as easily gave you a strategic advantage. That would be good in this game too. <laughs> Maybe as a mod. Not as the real thing. Just it turned out quite well indeed for him. Old Feld. But we've got things happening all over. Up here, 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 here. Oh yeah, and by the way, fish. So that's 300 wood in total, and he's already got... It looks like he's going to get that entire 1,000 of food. I mean, with 1,000... I mean, and Feldfeld doesn't have a dock. With 1,000 food, that's, that's 10 camel arches. With a bit of wood, but... You know, it's... It's 10 camel arches. It's a whole lot of camel arches, I tell you. It's not zero camel arches. This is your daily math lesson. 10 camel arches is not zero camel arches. It is, in fact, three. Ah oh dear. It's not three, it's ten. That was, that was a joke. Um. Hmm. Do I think really Borg has gotten any upgrades at all? I had a look in the summary page, but I couldn't find anything that said anything about uh, upgrades that had been researched. 
Maybe that could be something to add to the summary page, or make more visible so that I know where it is. <laughs> Because apparently people like me can't find it. And I'm not the only people like me in the world. <laughs> it's already, that's already five camel arches. How are we going for camel arches here? It's got about ten extra. It's interesting, isn't it? I mean, I don't even know how to show this to you exactly. It just, it just keeps going forever, and I, I just, I don't know. Constantly are things happening. Sometimes when you make a sentence actually grammatically correct, it sounds odd because people don't usually speak in a grammatically correct manner. Anyway, don't worry. Just a little thing. Observation. I mean, I am the observer. I should be. Ob I'm, and I'm making observations. I mean, there we, there we go. How about that? I'm, I'm, um, law appropriate. Uh, I have no idea. The observer, the observer isn't in the law. Look at this positioning again. Look at this. He's right around the outside of him. He, look at this! Look at that! That's great. Feldfeld's positioning is godlike. It's actually godlike. Look at all this time now that those camels aren't firing, but his are. You see? Like. It's, it's ridiculous. He's gonna lose another two here. Oh, he was lucky. But that's a thousand... Oh, 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 700 food now. Does he have seven extra camel arches? Well, pretty much. There's probably two down here somewhere. <laughs> there you go. So, yeah, well, look, here we... That's, that's what, that's what the thing is here, is... This is 20 camel arches. It's 2,000 food. If he gets all of it. I mean... It's the thing, like... <laughs> I like these kind of games because I could say basically anything. And... It's still you don't you don't know like because Feld Feldford's positioning in this game have it like is twenty extra camel arches enough even at this level, you know? Well, well that helps that helps Bog's side of the equation, but he, I mean, he is still behind. That's the thing. It looks like Feldfeld may in fact win this and bring this to... What, what would that be? Um, it'd be two all. No, wait. It'd be three one. Borg has, Borg's only got one. Hmm. That would put Borg in a very rough position. It is best out of seven, but that means best four out of seven. You need to win four. So Phil does win this, and he needs to win one more? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Hmm. But, ah, oh, just no dock. That's... 
That's scary. What do you take? Oh, what did Bog take down here? Taking things down. Does he have 10 extra? No. Hmm, you see, look. 10 extra camel horses. Camel horses. It's like a horse and an, and an archer, but it's it's both. But the thing is, they're not even horses, and I called them a horcher. So. That's, that's, I'm just really on point today with the words. Ooh. Mm -hmm. We're going for population. Not quite as far ahead now, I mean. He's onto his second lot of 1,000 food that he's trying to collect here. Ah, oh, these formations and everything happening. getting stabbed into oblivion right now. <laughs> They're just getting stabbed all the Whoa, you see him? <laughs> he was like <laughs> wiggling the thing around his head and like dancing. It looked kind of funny. <laughs> ah dear, it's the little thing. Sometimes that make the biggest impact. Yeah, it's just <laughs> pikemen, red pikemen. Blue camels, blue pikemen, red camels. Field Field has probably won all of these engagements bar one. I think Borg won one of these fights. In terms of population for population. This Borg just keeps coming back up. I mean, he has been able to build, what, either 14 horses, camels, sorry, or 28 pikemen, <laughs> something like that, isn't it? Yeah, like, or, or, or a ridiculous amount of skirmishes if he had the wood, but, you know. Getting rid of the storehouses. Or not, actually not, just, not, we didn't want that one. Just wanted to annoy him a bit. It's not going back in, oh it is. Very slowly. The camel, uh, walking right click sound is pretty funny. Sorry, I won't do that anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm actually sorry. It was just funny. Because I had already said. It almost sounds like they're saying Borg. Borg, Borg, Borg. That's why he, he was winning, the camels are on his side. Well, he's not winning. That's why he's losing, is because the camels say Borg. They say Borg, and, and I don't know. Well, he's not really. Mm, mm. I know I'd say it's pretty even.
Borg has used all of his stone and metal. Feldfeld has not. ESD ESD I mean, Phil does not have to worry about building houses ever again, so that's something. Wiggling. Number one most effective strategy. Wiggling. I mean, he's collected 2,000 damn food from this damn 300 wood. He spent 300 wood to get 2,000 food. That's what just happened. What was that outpost supposed to be? He just wasted 80 gold. I mean, uh, wood. Oh, just look at all these camel arches. It's almost as though he's been able to <laughs> build 20 extra camel arches. Or even 30 if he'd used like a couple of them to make extra women to get even more food over the course of time. He'll end up at the end of the game, he'll have built 30 extra camel arches, I bet. Yes. I say that. <laughs> I say that, but I've watched this replay before and I know he was able to build 30 extra camel arches. I'm not giving anything away at this point, don't worry. Um, Bog one. It happens in another about 10, 20 seconds. Like, even though, like, Food Fun's not super far behind. But, like, I mean, in terms of population, it's about the same. He's just lost a really bad fight. Uh... But the overall composition right now... Oh, I can't check because it already happened. It's... Mm, I mean, yeah. <laughs> probably. I would have given it a bit more of a go. But it's probably the right idea. Yeah, I mean, he's 2,000 food ahead. He's probably exact... Oh, <laughs> uh, dear. You see... 12,000, 12, 14,000. 58 cavalry, 88 cavalry. I, I don't want to say that the entire game was determined by 300 wood and it's super effective <laughs> output. But... Uh, this game was 100% decided by a dock and two fishing boats. I hope you have a good one and peace.